Hey guys, so I'm actually kind of still sick from this past weekend, so if you can hear that in my voice, that is exactly what it is. <laughs> so, I'm really excited to hop on here today because I have a pretty exciting video. I haven't made one of these in a long time, but they're definitely one of my favorite videos to make. Um, I have been shopping a little bit these past month and a half for some vinyls, which is one of my hugest um, collections, I would say. Um, I'm really into collecting vinyls, as a lot of you guys know, and I really like to share with you guys the finds that I do get. So, um, I have a nice little stack here, and I would like to show it off to you guys, I guess, um, in a nice little vinyl haul. So, we got all these babies right here, which is exciting. First off, this is a huge one for me. Um, these are going to probably be the uh, bane of my existence. Um, <laughs> right as soon as they posted on Facebook um, that they were going to be doing picture discs, um, I mean, obviously, um, I was kind of choked because I was like, no, that kind of means that I kind of have to buy them. Um, <laughs> so slowly I'm going to be trying to pick them up, uh, hopefully ending up with the full collection. Um, the first one I picked up was Live After Death. Um, it's a live album. I guess you could call it Live After Death, I'm not quite sure how they want you to pronounce that, but um, it's definitely one of my favorite Iron Maiden albums to date. Um, I love live music, and it has a lot of really, really good songs on this one. Um, <laughs> but uh, definitely the kicker of this one is that they are picture discs, and I am a huge, huge picture disc fan. <laughs> like I said on my Instagram post when I showed this off, that uh, picture discs definitely give me a lady boner. So, holy, this voice is terrible. I'm so sorry. Okay, so it has a gatefold. It is huge. It has all sorts of pictures up there. <clears throat> and then, of course, on the back, it tells you what's on it. And um, I'm definitely going to show you the pictures on the discs because they're amazing. Oh, I... I want to hang them on my wall, but uh, Justin is really, really scared of warping them with the sunlight or something because in the summertime it does get really hot through the windows. So that was really, really exciting. I think it's definitely one of my all-time favorite purchases. It it rotates so nicely and it sounds so perfect. And I definitely am very excited to add this to my collection, for sure. So next up, I actually have these in order, which is awesome. Um, next up, I went to a antique store in um, Edmonton, which is our big city here in Alberta. Well, one of the two. And... Um, I was at this antique store and they had tons and tons of vinyl everywhere. But what I was interested in was this lockup case that had a lot of vinyls um, locked up. So I asked the lady if I could look at there and kind of like see what was there. And um, lo and behold, an album that I have been dying to get my hands on, um, Pink Floyd's Wall, or The Wall I guess you would call it, was in there. and. Um, I was really excited, but I didn't want to get my hopes up because um, I've never found one before. So I had to definitely check out how good of quality uh, the record itself was. And surprisingly, for being a old release, like definitely no 180 gram, it's no new release. It's definitely from ancient days. <laughs> 1979 is when it was released. Um, for being that old, whoever had this before it went to the uh, antique store took a hell of a good care of it. Um, they babied this thing and trust me I will too. So um, yes, it is very fantastic. It also has a, uh, a gatefold in it and oh my god, <laughs> so awesome. Seriously, since I started collecting vinyls, this 
was on my to buy list and definitely I didn't want to grab it new I really wanted an older copy I just wanted it to be genuine um, Pink Floyd is one of my biggest inspirations for music I uh, kind of grew up on them and uh, they helped me through a lot of really hard times so this album in general definitely huge huge find for me I was so so excited to actually own it and um, I'm very excited still um, one of the really neat things about this one is that actually on the uh, record itself, um, the label is um, very, uh, very uh, wonderful, <laughs> I guess you could say. Um, it has the wall background on it and every so, and then it has like little illustrations on it from the uh, movie, so... I thought that was fantastic, and it really, really like made it all the difference for me in uh, purchasing this. Even though whether it had that or not, I was definitely going to purchase it. And next up was the second thing I got at that antique store. Um, they had like <laughs> almost every every Led Zeppelin album there. However, I wanted to grab just one. It was kind of in my budget. I really couldn't afford to grab them all. What what? <laughs> but I really wanted to. Um, I think I only own one other Led Zeppelin album right now, so this one was uh, really exciting for me to pick up. It is number three. Um, this is just the one that I chose because it had a lot of the songs that I know and love and I would love to just hear all the time and I usually turn them on on iTunes, so I thought instead of going for iTunes, I'm just gonna grab the record that I find most appealing for my love of Led Zeppelin and then I'll just rotate it as much as I want and trust me I think since buying this I have probably listened to it a good like six times already um I every so often I'll bring my record player into the bathroom and put it on top of the uh the toilet while I'm uh, having a bath and just listen to whatever record that I feel I need to listen to and uh, this one has come up a lot of times uh, since I bought it um, I'm super 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 stoked on this one because it's just so wonderful it has that really neat um, little section in here with the turn style thing in it and you just kind of turn it and the cover changes to all sorts of different things inside there which is really really cool I think you go around and you see different faces and all the little bubbles which is really neat and once again, got a nice little gateful here. However, it is only one, di uh, one album inside. And it has a wicked picture on the back. Um, the the cover itself isn't of the greatest quality. However, the <coughs> the disc inside. Why do I say disc? <laughs> the record inside is very very good quality so um, once again very stoked to find such an old album looking so fantastic like there's nothing better <laughs> I swear there's nothing better than finding old discs like that this one here was a gift is actually gifted to Justin however I'm a huge fan as well so uh, I thought it was really really cool and I thought I would throw it in the vinyl haul because it makes total sense for me to do so so uh, this came from Courtney my uh, really good friend here uh, she picked it out um, our HMV uh, album store in Canada I don't know if you guys have it in the US is selling 180 gram vinyls right now and I thought that was really really neat and um, so she picked out the perfect one ever and it is um, Nighthawks at the Diner by here I'm just going to take this off because it's kind of more trouble than it's worth right now <laughs> uh, by Tom Waits and it is a double disc and it has some seriously amazing stuff on it um, I'm pretty sure it's live because it always has like audience in the background clapping every so often uh, but this is another one that has been hugely rotated um, in the bath for me because it's so relaxing. Um, <laughs> seriously, this guy's voice is like no other. Um, the things he has to sing and talk about really kind of blow it out of the water for me. So um, owning a Tom Waits album is super, super exciting, even if it's actually Justin's. Uh, what's his is mine now that we're getting married, right? So that's how I see it. <laughs> And 
And uh, one last album before I uh, let you guys go. I can't believe it's been already 10 minutes. Um, is Peace Sells But Who's Buy It by Megadeth. This is my very first Megadeth album ever. Um, I've never had one before. I've seen a couple in shops that I really, really wanted to purchase, but of course, never have the money while I actually am looking. So um, they had this at my record shop here in town, and I was really excited to see that because um, I love to shop local. I love to shop our local uh, record store here in town because I believe definitely in uh, supporting local uh, shops and stuff. So um, it was a little bit, I don't know, it wasn't really pricey, um, I guess for the album itself. It was a little, it was around $20, which I don't know if I could call that pricey really. I mean, I'd buy the disc for that much anyway. So um, uh, yeah, uh, not gonna, gonna lie, uh, Peace Sells is not my all-time favorite uh, Megadeth album. However, I am very excited to own it because it does have some pretty good songs on it and it's really good quality uh, album altogether. So uh, yeah, this one's definitely a really good purchase for me, and I'm very excited to start off my uh, Megadeth collection in vinyls. Uh, hopefully I can find some more in the future. Uh, hopefully, I'll just go back to that record shop that I saw all the other ones at, maybe, one day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, that is everything for my record haul. I actually have one coming in the mail, and I was totally going to hold this off just to wait till I got that one, but... I kind of have a day off and I'm finally feeling better and I I'm really inspired to make a video today so oh my gosh the sickness is terrible so thank you so much everybody for watching and I hope you enjoyed this final haul um, like I said that new one in the mail is gonna be really really exciting I bought it off one of my uh, followers on Instagram that I follow there uh, they have an, an Etsy shop which is really cool and they sell the um, used records that they find around their uh, their town there so anyways I am really gonna gotta go now it's like 13 minutes long so have a really good day guys and I was really excited to make a video today and I hope to see you guys a lot more and yeah just uh, leave a comment down below make sure you thumbs up this video because that would make my day and uh, yeah it's really good to see you guys bye